Hello everyone, it's Aster, uh, bringing you an unboxing video. So today I'm trying out two new um, subscription boxes. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them. Well, I'm keeping these, I mean keep my subscription. So this is like a, you know, first time look at stuff and, you know, is the quality good? Is it something I want? Um, I don't like mystery boxes, or at least subscription mystery boxes, because I mean they can span many different genres. Like in here could be like Dragon Ball Z, Godzilla, and stuff like that that I have no interest in. Um, but there could be Sailor Moon and Kirby and stuff that I do have interest in, so it's kind of, you know, do the pros outweigh the cons, and most of the time I find subscription boxes lacking, so that's why I don't really buy them. But um, I've always been curious about this one in particular, the Gacha Gacha um, Japan Crate. And um, then this one is uh, new to me. I've never heard of it, but I saw it. Inku um, by Japan Crate. It's a Japanese stationery, so that one might have more stuff that I'm interested in, but I've always had a fascination with um, Gachapon, so that's why I really wanted to do the Gacha Crate. So let's open. Um, now I don't remember how much they are, but they're not cheap. <laughs> and unfortunately they don't have a trial, uh, where you can just, you know, try one box and see if you like it. Okay, so this is the interior of the box. I like the design on the flaps. And then this is, um... A spoiler guide <laughs> to what you get. I'm not gonna look at it. Okay, so let's just grab one. Oh, I don't remember the name of this guy, but I it's a Hello Kitty um, character friend. Po Pochico? Po it's the dog. Um, I really like Hello Kitty, so I'm happy about that. Okay, so let's unwrap this dude. Okay, so I think um, I've seen these type of things before. So the head is basically the capsule, inside is the body. So it's a figure that you put together. Oh, this is oh, this is different. This is even cuter. I was wondering why the head's invisible. This is super cute. Okay, I'm happy. <laughs> this this one has really made me happy. I would have liked to get Hello Kitty because I know Hello Kitty and I don't really know Pochico. Um, but basically what this is, is it's a little uh, vending gachapon thing. So it's like a miniature gachapon machine. So this is the instructions on how to put it together and stuff. And then it's all in Japanese. <laughs> but this is a f an official um, Sanrio item. So that was inside the head. Um, this is the body. As you can see, there's a little dial that you turn. And then these are the little prizes that come out. That is super, super cute. Okay, I'm a huge fan of this. Again, I would have liked to get Hello Kitty, but this is still really, really cute. I'll put him together later. Now to fit this guy all together. Okay. So cute. So we have a winner so far. <laughs> Okay, this next one is a pink capsule. I have high hopes. Pink usually means, well, 
typically means like girly and stuff so maybe there's some more Hello Kitty or Sailor Moon or something like that something cute really I hate sticky tape oh my god <laughs> sticky tape is just really frustrating to get through this is why I usually open everything ahead of time so I don't have to just frustratingly try and open stuff on camera but I thought let's go through it together so I can be surprised and you can hear my reaction okay okay how do I oh okay we don't really have gachapon machines so I'm kind of having a little tr trouble opening this because I don't know how to open it okay I think I got it <sighs> it's Bandai um, Hud Cot? Hud Cot? Okay. Alright, I, th it's, um, oh, what's, what is her name? I think it's Card Captor Sakura. It's like a cord hugging Card Captor Sagra, Sakura, um, little figure. Um, I used to watch the anime years ago in the 90s, but I wasn't a huge fan of it, so I haven't seen it since, so I have no idea who this is, but basically her hair lifts up and she'll grasp a cord for you. So, I mean, it's cute, but I'm not a fan of Cardcaptor Sakura, so... Me? <laughs> this one's kind of... <laughs> So so. Hopefully the rest I at least know. Okay, this one. This one looks cute. Okay, so this one is an animal, and it's an animal with food. <laughs> I like these ones. They um, it's like a cafe but it has a bunch of animals that probably shouldn't be in the cafe and it's really cute there's um they usually do like cat ones I think this one might be a hamster I'm not sure but I've seen them before and I like them and this is interesting the tape is kind of yellowed so I don't know if this is an older um Gachapon or not, but yellow tape, so that's curious. And there was a third sticky tape. Oh god, I hate sticky tape so much. <laughs> okay. Oh no, it's stuck it's stuck on my finger. Okay. Let's open this. There we go. Alright, so yes, it's a hamster, and it looks like it's um, a Chinese uh, restaurant hamster thing. I don't know the Japanese, um, so I don't know what it is, but it looks very Chinese. Cause there's dumplings and stuff so there's tea um steamed dumplings uh teacup um i don't know what this is it's supposed to be maybe a lotus bun or something and then a spoon with a hamster in it very cute i approve and i got ah the tea uh the teapot so i got teapot. Um, let's see what number was that? I got number one. Okay. That's really cute. I approve of this. I like it. Um, I don't have a hamster. Um, I used to have a hamster when I was a kid. Um, 
they're not my favorite pet, but I do like this. This is really cute, so that's a winner. So, two winners so far. One's kind of meh. Okay, so this one's pink um, and sparkly. I like this so far, and it's big, the capsule. So pink, sparkly, and big. It looks cute, whatever it is in there. Hopefully it is cute. It's a little hard to tell what this is exactly. I think this might be the biggest um, Gachapon capsule we have. Okay. Open. Huh. Okay, it is cute. It's just I do not know what it is. Okay. On off. So it's something that turns on and off. And it looks like it's an octopus. Okay, so they show an octopus, all the octopi or whatever, um, on a glass. And there's the octopi. And then, as you can see, there's an on-off switch. Well, I'm very curious what this is. It's kind of a... Okay, so it looks like it can suction onto things. Okay, I'm just going to open it up because I am extremely curious. So it's got kind of a soft uh, plastic thing going on. And it's a little... Uh, you can kind of squeeze it a little bit, but not much. Oh, it's light. Okay. Huh. And it sticks to things. So let's stick this onto the thing that I'm per currently filming on. It does stick. <laughs> that was a little such a noise. Okay, that is cute. Weird. Very weird. But cute. Okay, so far we have three winners. Okay. Ooh, this one's heavy and it's big. All right. And this one does not have any <laughs> um, tape on it, so I am happy. Okay. No tape. But this one's gonna be hard. Ooh. Ooh. Oh god. This one does not want to come unlatched. Oh no, I just latched it. The other one. So it's got two little latches, and I just latched and unlatched one. What are you? So that was the capsule. Okay. It's a dog? Some sort of dog? Oh, it's a game. Okay, I think I know what it is. So, it's an electronic game. It's, um... Basically, it's, um... Mode is going to be in sleep. And then you try and push the buttons without waking it up. But if it wakes up, it'll bark at you and growl and stuff. I think that's what it is. Okay, so I kind of, I kind of know what it is. All right. Um, it looks like it'll also like come down and bite you. <laughs> so I got the black one. Interesting, not something I buy for myself. So that's kind of a, eh, not so great. It's kind of with the card captor Sakura. It's like, eh. Okay, this one's super big for what the item is. Oh, there's like a ton of room in there. 
Okay, so this one had one piece of tape and the capsule is already kind of crooked and open. Okay, so this is a Sumiko Garashi um, keychain. It looks like it's a thing in a cat costume and it's uh, full of water, so it's a keychain, so it's a floating keychain thing. I like floating keychains, but I am i don't know anything about Sumiko or Karashi. I've heard of it, but... Yeah. So, so the different variations that you can get. That one's kind of eh, too. Um, so we had three winners and three eh. So it's sort of, it's literally half and half. Half of them were good and half of them were like, I wouldn't buy it for myself. And yeah, and that's it. So you only get six. So let's look at the thing. What's in your gotcha gotcha crate? Cart capture Sakura cord protector. Um, Sucker and your friends will protect your cords and keep them looking cute. Receive one of five characters. A Sanrio toy gumball machine. Okay, so it's a gumball machine. This may look like candy, but it is not. These miniature gumball machines take us back to when we were kids. Receive one of three. So I could have gotten Hello Kitty, Pachico, or something else. Gao Gao Watch Dog Game. Test your luck against this vicious guard dog. Take turns pressing on the tabs to see who will get bit. Receive one of five watchdogs. So that's the watchdog game I was talking about. Shy Dim Sum Hamsters. These hamsters have scrambled into the closest hiding place during this dim sum meal. Where is yours hiding? Receive one of Sit's shy hamsters. Uh, aquatic Sumiko Garashi charms. Squish, squish these aquatic themed Sumiko Garashi charms. Just looking at them makes us feel cooler already. Receive one of five charms. And then the last one is such an octopus. These octopuses, so it's not octopi, are getting stuck everywhere. Watch them stick to a smooth surface with their strong suction. They also light up. Receive one of five. So I got the pink one, which kind of looks the most like a cartoon one. And then it features some information about Cardcaptor Sakura. Hmm. So, this one's like, I don't know. I was looking forward to this one the most, um, but it's kind of up in there. It's half half. It's. I suppose there could be times where you get um, things that are either more interesting to you or less interesting because these things, you know, they vary greatly. So I don't know, really know how to judge this. I mean, it's half good, half not. How do you judge that? So, I guess I'd have to take a closer look at the price point and the actual things. So, next up, ooh, we're already 20 minutes in, I better go fast, is the Inku um, crate. I don't know anything about this one, so it is completely blind going in. I only know that it was like stationary or something. Okay, Inku by Japan Crate. Okay. 
So we have another spoiler pamphlet. Okay. This is a Peta Tau Peta Toto marker. Um, I've seen these before. This one looks like it's got a bunch of Shibu Shibuya duggies on it. So basically, it's a glue stick marker. So you, um, it acts like a marker, but it it's glue inside. So you can um, use it like you would any glue stick. Carrot Usagi Cafe, Happy Carrot Life, and it's a little. Um, notepad. Oh, that's really cute. So it's got two different designs. First one's got like some sweets and drinks. And then the second one, second design, is this one. And it's got like a carrot cake um, cupcake in the back. Which you can't kind of see, but um, off camera you can see pretty well. That's really cute. Next we have Choco and Cookie. And these are sticker flakes. And there's seven different designs. And it looks like you get 50 in there. That's really cute. Next up we got a pencil. Rocket pencil. So it looks like a pencil but it's like one of those mechanical type pencils where you interchange the leads inside. This one's got a dinosaur eating a bunch of stuff and like a claw machine dropping the items. Okay, that was interesting. Um, Little Fairy Tale and it's a lipstick eraser. So it looks like a lipstick, but it's actually an eraser. It's pretty cute. Uh, mild Liner Brush. Um, so it's a brush, and it's, then the other side's super fine, and it looks like it's uh, yellow. Okay. I've heard of the super fine, or super, is it mild liner? I've heard of the mild liners. Okay, then we got a letter set, so it's got letters and um, paper for you to write a little note to somebody. That's pretty cute. And it's cat themed. Oh, and this is a big thing. And I think this is it. Um, this is Hello Kitty. And it's three size, small, medium, large. And it's... Oh, they're like um, zipper bags, so they're like clear zipper pouches for like pins and pencils and stuff. That's really cute. I love Hello Kitty, so that's that's adorable. Let's see if I was right. Glue pen, yep. Uh, cute sticker flakes, pencil, rocket pencil, Hello Kitty pouch set, uh, animal memo pad, relaxing summer letter set, mild liner brush pen, and fairy tale lipstick eraser. So, I guess it helps that I follow a bunch of um, Japanese uh, pe uh, journalists, um, people who like to journal and craft and stuff. So. I knew what most of the stuff was without looking at the little guide. So I actually really liked this one, um, possibly even more than the um, Gacha Gacha Crate, which is interesting. 
but this stuff's more useful and I'm more likely to actually like it because I can use it. And there's so many cute stationary items from Japan, so I might be tempted to keep this one and cancel the other one. I'm not sure. I think I signed up for a three month period, so I don't know if I can cancel right now anyways, but um, I might just try and see what the three months or the next two months bring me. So really liked this one. Gacha gacha. I'm like, eh, on. I do know both of them were not cheap, so that might be a factor for you. Um, it was a factor for me for a few years, um, but I decided to just treat myself and try it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I'd probably recommend this for anybody who wants to start doing bullet journals and likes Japanese stationery because this is an easy way to get Japanese stationery. Um, there's a lot of Japanese stationery that people in America can't get and it is super frustrating because there's so many cute things but this might be your solution. Um, so I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.